Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. Hope you're all doing well today. I've got some Brunswick hot sauce flavored sardine fillets, and I'm gonna add some Cully's Firewater hot sauce to them after I review them, just to kick up the heat, because I have a feeling the hot sauce in this, it might not be all that spicy. We'll see. Either way, I'm going to add some hot sauce to it. Um, but before I get going with that, I just wanna wish a happy birthday to Rachel C here in Kamloops, British Columbia, Canada. Hope you have a happy birthday today, Rachel. I guess it's ha ha halfway through the day already, but that's because I've been procrastinating all morning. I've actually been playing with my flight simulator. I've been struggling with my, my headset is not connecting. I have to go through some steps to connect it when I plug it in now, which is weird because I've never had to do that before. But oh well, my buddy Sim Famous was kind of walking me through the steps on how to access the microphone and headset again. So thank you, Sim Famous. Um, let's get to this boneless Brunswick hot sauce sardine snacks. I have not had these. I've definitely had sardine snacks before. I've actually reviewed some on this channel. They were just the unflavored ones, I guess you'd call them, but I've never had the hot sauce ones. I think, I think these were actually maybe even a gift to me. These may have been a gift from Lady Shorts. She gave me some, some spicy seafood stuff because she knows that I like this stuff. And uh, I think this was one of them. I'm almost positive of that. <clears throat> um, it says it's wild. I just noticed that just now. Wild fish. I just thought that was, I mean, I get what they're saying, but I, I thought it was kind of funny. You know, like this stuff is wild. <laughs> um, I'm a big fan of seafood snacks. I love canned seafood, sardines, oysters, mussels, clams, you name it, basically tuna, all that stuff. I like it, it's good stuff. And obviously, you know, the stuff straight from the ocean would be much better, but I live in semi-desert area of the interior of Brit British Columbia, so there's not really fresh seafood here. Anyways, ingredients, sardine fillets, water, maltodextrin, Acetic acid, salt, paprika, modified cornstarch, paprika, and spice extracts. This might actually have a little bit of heat to it. Uh, then xanthan gum, polysorbate 80, and caramel. Ready to eat. BrunswickCanada.ca is their website. I was kind of hoping it was going to say, like, caution may contain fish or something like that. That's actually what I was just looking for. <laughs> Apparently I'm in a funny mood today. I don't know. And uh, speaking of which, I had a really good sleep last night. I had a bath last night before bed. I don't normally have baths. I usually have showers. But I had a bath and I put chamomile, coconut oil, and... Epsom salt in the bath I just soaked for a bit and uh, and I slept okay and that's what happened last time the last time I had a pretty good sleep I had that same recipe bath before bed so I don't know could have been a coincidence could it have been maybe that's really helping I was I was a little bit itchy last night but not too bad where where it was obstructing my sleep Let's open this up, see what we're dealing with. What well, kind of looks like hot sauce in there. Hope this thing doesn't flick when it opens, you know what I mean? <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> there we go. And I'm gonna put this below deck in the recycling bin here. Actually, I'm gonna put it inside of this first. Yeah. Just so we're not getting <clears throat> smelly fish oils all over everything, because this garbage, this recycling bin, garbage can thing is not empty yet. So, I mean, it doesn't look bad. It looks like fish and hot sauce 
kind of. Not sure how well you'll be able to see that. But let's grab one out of there and try it out. I'm going to try a couple by themselves first. Give you a flavor rating and a heat rating. Brunswick hot sauce flavored sardine fillets. Heat my shorts. Very slight bit of heat to it. Tip of the tongue, a little bit of throat sting. That's really it. Very slight. Um, not quite a one. Almost one out of ten on my heat scale. I should be talking about the flavor first, but I'm just kind of surprised that this has heat. My mouth is watering. It's tasty, but that also could be because of the slight heat. For a flavor rating, I think I'd give that like a 8 out of 10. It's pretty good. It's got a slight hot sauce flavor to it, for sure. Now when I saw the paprika extract, I thought that maybe it might have a bit more of a kick, but that's not bad. That is not bad. Let's put a couple on crackers. Um, I would recommend these if you like canned fish and you like hot sauce, you know, your average red hot sauce, cayenne hot sauce, and you're curious what that would be like, I highly recommend trying this out. It's a good little snack. I would absolutely buy these again. You know, even though they're not screaming hot, it's just nice that it has that, that little bit of a flavor to it. That little bit of extra flavor is really nice. Let's try some on crackers and then We'll add hot sauce to some. I'm glad I brought that hot sauce because this could use a little bit more heat. Um, these are premium plus crackers. I got a brand new sleeve of these things. <laughs> these are my go-to crackers. You know, I've just kind of started using these crackers for the review, so now it's just kind of the the norm. It's the the regular transporting cracker on this channel, I suppose. One day maybe we'll venture into other crackers but for now this is our cracker so Brunswick hot sauce flavored sardine fillets on premium plus salted top crackers eat my shorts Mm-hmm. It's even better with the cracker. The salty cracker really helps to bring out the flavor of your snacks. Did I give it an 8 out of 10 before? I think so. I need to bring a notepad. I need to make notes so I don't have to keep forgetting. So I believe I gave these an 8 out of 10. I'm going to go ahead and give this an 8.5 out of 10. It's a little bit better. Just that salty flavor really brings out that hot sauce, fishy flavor a little bit more. So now let's add some more and some hot sauce. See how that goes. I want to try to keep this video from being like 20 minutes long. It looks like it's 10 minutes already. It's tough to keep these videos where we do a snack review and has, ha, uh, add hot sauce in the same video. And a mental health update and a Maggie hangout. You know, it takes time. And I'm not fast at things. I w work slowly. And I stutter. So it makes me, makes me take, take longer to say things. See, there you go. That was a prime example. <laughs> Let's add some fire water to these. 
I have I had actually forgotten all about this sauce. This sauce, from what I remember, has got a serious kick to it. It's let's see here. Smoking Ed Carolina Reapers, Trinidad Scorpion Butch Tea, Capsicum, which I think is extract of some sort, White Wine Vinegar, Lime Juice, Mexican Tequila, Palm Sugar, Onions, Ginger, Garlic, Salt, and Pepper. I've had this for a little while. I had to give it a very good shaky shake to get it all freed up again. I had a good sauce plug at the top, but I gave it a, a little smell. It smells like hot sauce still, so I, I don't think hot sauce really goes bad. So let's try this out. Cully's fire water, kick it up a notch. Heat my shorts. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now that is a hot sauce. A hot sauce. You know what I mean? <laughs> So flavor, um, the super hot pepper forward flavor sauce does take away from the pleasantly spicy and fish flavor. <clears throat> Throat burn, big time. It's still very enjoyable. I love this stuff. I enjoy the taste of super hot peppers. So that doesn't really bother me, but I won't deny that it does take away from the less dominant flavors in there. I would say, as a chili head, I prefer it with this on it. As your average snack experience, just sitting there and enjoying a nice snack, I would say just put these on crackers and eat them straight up. This is a great way to turn it into something that'll make you sweat though. That's got me sweating in the forehead a little bit. My heat level, let's do flavor rating first. I've, I've been going to heat first again for some reason. Flavor rating, hot sauce on the, tu on the is it tuna? It's not tuna, it's sardine. <laughs> on the crackers. I'd say that's a 7 out of 10. It's just still a pretty good rating for sure. But my heat level now, I'm at a 2.5 out of 10. Maybe approaching a 3. Tongue burn is quite substantial. Throat burn is, is there. My nose is almost starting to run. I've got that feeling where my nose just feels a little bit cold. Um, yeah, a little bit sniffly now. Little bit of, we'll call it neck burn. That's a throat burn. Throat's inside the neck. <laughs> little bit of throat burn. Nothing really in the chest or stomach. It's very tame still for, for me, I suppose. Um, I eat super, super hot stuff every day, so it's not really an issue for me. But somebody, right. If you were at habanero level for these, I didn't do that part, sorry about that. For this snack, Alone, I can't really flip, taste it again for heat. Habanero level might call this, might call it a 2 out of 10. If you're at jalapeno level, you might call it a 4 out of 10. Those are my guesses. Those are guesses. Even my own heat rating, that's a guess. <laughs> I could be off. Somebody, so you feel free to call, call me on it. If you think that... I'm not adjusting my heat ratings to my tolerance changes. Let me know if you're like, you're saying you're at a two, but you look like you're at a five. Let me know. I won't take offense to that. I'll, I'm trying to be as honest as I can, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm just, you know, I'm not the best at this. I'll admit it. I'll be the first to admit that I'm not the best reviewer. I enjoy it. And that makes my reviews enjoyable to watch, I guess. But I'm not a connoisseur, I'm not an expert, I haven't gone to school for this, I'm just a kid who likes snacks, and I know what I like, and I'm letting you know what I like. So that's basically 
kind of like a disclaimer. Don't take this as factual information. This is this heat level for you if you're at this level, you know? I'm doing my best here. Anyways, I'm going to move this to the side now. It's a 15 minute video it looks like. I would, I would definitely add that hot sauce to that snack again. I definitely would. This is a cute little dog. Yeah, are you a good doggy? She's got a big chicken leg out. Look at that thing. Look at that big chicken leg. Hey? A big turkey leg. <laughs> so, um, I think I might go for another afternoon flight today. Kind of seems like a good thing to do. What? You don't want me to? <laughs> and I should mail off a couple more packs of stickers. There was a couple more requests that I did not... I wasn't able to get to them get them down to the post office in time so I should get those mailed off too. What are you? You're such a cute little boo-boo. Wow. You're so nice. I'm not gonna put that in front of you actually. You're cute. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video. How are we doing? 16 minutes. A little longer than average. I'm trying to keep them on the shorter side. Um, this is a good hot sauce. This has got some serious heat to it. <laughs> Hope y'all have a great day. I love y'all. In this corner, you'll see our Heat My Shorts logo. In this corner, Cully'sHotSauce.com. Hop over there and browse their selection. Up here, some content for you to click and hopefully enjoy. Hopefully you have a great day. I love y'all very much, and we will hang out again sometime soon. This has been Heat My Shorts with Maggie and Steve. The Maggie Show. Bye-bye.